with $10, you can start a $1,000 emergency fund. Stay tuned and let me show you how. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for an emergency, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And I'm asking if this is your first time here, if you will please consider subscribing to this channel. If you're not a subscriber, click the thumbs up button, share this video because there may be someone that can use this content also, and click the notification bell that you might be notified every time I upload a new video. And I wanna say welcome to everyone. I thank you for being here and I hope you get great value and this content is helpful to you. In today's video, we're going to be doing a savings challenge. And I do a savings challenge every day. And today is Wednesday. And on Wednesdays, I do a savings challenge number three. And it is with a photo album. Okay, it's cash stuffing. Consider cash stuffing. And I'm creating these videos to encourage and motivate someone to start saving for emergencies if they're not saving because some of us don't realize the importance of saving for emergencies. We don't realize that emergencies come and they can be avoided. And we want to be prepared when they come. That way, if we have an emergency, we have money to tap into rather than robbing Peter to pay Paul. In other words, going into bill money to take care of emergencies, living from paycheck to paycheck, that's another thing saving for emergencies and saving period can keep us from doing living from paycheck to paycheck. It can help keep us out of consumer debt. If we have something saved, we won't have to keep using credit cards, keeping us racked up with debt. And we want to do everything we can to come out of debt. Stop using credit cards. If we have them, we need to go ahead and get them paid off. What I did, how I paid off mine, I started with the credit card that had the lowest balance. Like if it was, if I had five credit cards and the one that had a $200 balance, I paid that one off first. And then the next lowest, then the next. That's how I did it. Or you, you could take the one with the highest interest rate and pay that off first. But I did it with the lowest balance. And what that was doing was freeing up money so I can save for an emergency and uh, help pay off the other credit cards. Because what I could do when I paid off one credit card, I took that money plus whatever money I was putting with it. Because uh, even though I was paying off one, I was still paying the minimum balance on the other one. So I was able to add something to those to help pay off those until I got them all paid off, car loan all paid off. And I'm tell you, it feels like when you pay off bills and pay off credit cards and pay off debt, feel like you got a raise. <laughs> you need a raise? Pay off your credit cards. <laughs> Get rid of car loan debt. I'm serious. It makes you feel like you have a raise. Okay, and so we're going to be saving. And this is a savings challenge, and I'm encouraging you. Join me in this savings challenge. It's working with small amounts of money. That way we have no excuse for not saving. You know, if we had a lot of money that we would try to put away, we it might be a little hard because some people are working with a low budget. They're not making that much money. But when you're using small amounts of money and all of these savings challenges that I'm using, they're working with small amounts of money. So you can go to my channel and find the one that will work for you. And this one is done on Wednesdays. Okay, so this is what we're working with today. See that? A $10 bill. Now, if we're not careful, we can blow this. 
but we don't want to blow any money. We want to start saving for emergencies. That way we'll be prepared if they come. And I've been doing this every week and I've been consistent. That's what we need to be. Patient, consistent, and disciplined. Consistent means I've been adding to it. Discipline means I have been, haven't been touching it. And that's why I'm, another reason I'm creating this video is to show you all, you can save. You can not be, you can be disciplined. I've been saving this money and haven't been touching it. All of the, I've been doing a savings challenge every day and haven't been touching it. You know, it didn't used to be that way with me. You, you remember that old saying, money burns a hole in their pocket and that's how it was for me. <laughs> you talking about number one shopaholic. I used to be. That's another thing we gotta live on less than what we make. Watch our spending. Keep track of what's coming in and track of what's going out. If we're spending on things that we don't need, we need to eliminate them. You know, that will help. You know, start taking your lunch, meal prepping, buying groceries, stop eating out every day or three or four times a week. Now, I may eat out maybe once a week, you know, depending on how I'm working or something, I get home late. I may just grab a little something, but it's not every day and it's not all the time. And I don't uh, go get Starbucks coffee. That's another thing. I think two coffees cost this much, I think. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. I've just heard that the coffee can be like 4 or $5. So it's about it twice. That's $10. So, you know, we need to do whatever we can do to help save. Okay, so this is the photo album that I use. I got this at Dollar Tree, and this is not a sponsored video. And if you can't find this in Dollar Tree, go on Amazon. Go on Timu, Etsy. You know, Timu has almost everything. Amazon too. And Shopify. And find, you know, put in a search photo album. I think it's maybe like five by seven, I think. But anyway, this one has 50 pages. And we're stuffing it with $10 bills. Now, you don't have to get one with 50 pages. You could get one with more pages. But try to make it at least 50 pages because once this is all stuff, it will be $500 and that can go towards your $1,000 emergency fund. Now, once you get your $1,000 emergency fund, you don't stop saving. You keep saving until you get your three to six months of your expenses. That way, if there's a job loss, uh, a cut in pay, because that happens. If there's uh, medical bills, if there's a car repair, you can have something to tap into, okay? So, let me show you how much I've saved so far. And I started this in the beginning of January 2024, and I've been consistent. Okay, so there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And now I'm going to add this one, this $10 bill. Money answers all things. And that's 70. And so far, I've saved $170, almost $200. This is going to be fear before you know it, okay? And um, then once I feel this, I'm going to take the money out and start over. Now, I already have my $1,000 emergency fund in, in plus. But anyway, um, I may invest this into the stock market. And that's another thing we need to do to help build wealth. Invest in the stock market. You need to open up brokerage accounts and learn how to invest. How I learned how to invest, I went on YouTube. And I found a video uh, where I wanted to, the brokerage account that I wanted to invest in, I found a video and this YouTuber walked you through it. 
Um, and it didn't cost anything, but you know, he, he showed you how to set up the account, how to invest in the account. And that's how I learned. And so once you put your money into the brokerage account, you have to physically go in and buy your stocks and your ETFs, whatever you're going to buy. Okay. And that's literally how I learned. And, you know, I'm not an expert at it yet, but I'm constantly learning different things. I'm always on YouTube learning. YouTube is like a, a school. Okay. So yeah, take advantage of that. So like I said, oh, let me, um, I have to record this. This is the planner that I got at Dollar Tree also. Okay, so today is Wednesday, April 24th, and I call this my photo album savings challenge pack. <laughs> okay, and I added $10, and the total is $170. Wow. So this is showing you, you can save, you can be disciplined, and you can be patient. And it adds up over time using small amounts of money. We have no excuse for being broke. No excuse for robbing people to pay. No excuse. No, we have to start saving. It is important, more important than we think. You know, I didn't have a mind to save. I just had a mind to shop, but no more. I'm a saver now. Like I said, one is my name and saving money is my game. Okay, so I'm challenging you to join me in this savings challenge and drop me a comment and let me know if this challenge is working for you. If you're doing this, is it if it's helpful? Let me know something. Okay, I will really would appreciate that. So that's all I have for you. You all have a safe, wonderful, happy day and Happy savings. I'll see you in the next video.